It's 7 o'clock. We'll call the regular village board meeting to order. If everyone would rise and say the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So clerk would please call the roll. Mareska? Here. Jones? March? Here. Parker? Here. Ham? Here. Bowden? Okay, approval or corrections to the minutes of the October 22nd, 2018 regular village board meeting. Are there any additions or corrections to those minutes? If not, a motion to approve as presented. So moved. Second? Second. Motion by Trustee March, seconded by Trustee Moravka. March? Yes. Moravka? Yes. Bowden? Absolutely. Ham? Yes. And Parker? Yes. Okay, accounts payable and payroll, payroll pay period ending 10 20 18 in the amount of $49,089.42. Pay period ending 11 3 18 in the amount of $42,330.24. Accounts payable general fund 322 Motor fuel tax fund $30,010.96. Water and sewer fund, 38,462.57, giving a total of all funds, 391,067.27. Are there any questions on any of the bills? That's gas voda. That's uh, something to do with the sewer. Okay. It's parts. Okay. That's all I had. Motion. Okay, second. Second. Motion by Trustee Ham, seconded by Trustee Parker to pay the bills and the payroll. Ham? Yes. Parker? Yes. March? Yes. Marissa? Yes. Any public comment and or questions on any non-agenda item? Go to reports of committees, police chief's report, engineer's report. Yeah, I can just give an update on the two big construction projects going on. Um, Route 50 and Corning. The contractor got to a point where they're going to wrap up for the winter. They have the base course down on um, the east side of Corning and the east pavement lighting on right, Route 50, sewers in. Um, so they're not gonna put the final surface on until the spring. And they don't wanna open up the west side this late in the year. Just if the weather turns, then you're stuck. And they, you know, they, they wanna have the road open for you know all lanes for the winter. For the winter. So um, the next few weeks are gonna wrap some stuff up you know, put some temporary striping down and open up both lanes on 50, open up Corning, and then they'll start up again in the spring to finish the widening on the west side and traffic signals, obviously, and everything else. Um, for Ratchy Road, they're a little farther along. They plan on doing the sidewalk next week and then some of the restoration the following week. And then depending on the weather, if they get a decent day, sunny and 40 degrees or higher, they're gonna try to pave that final surface course um, if not, it's not worth doing it when it's too cold because, you know, then it won't, may not, you know, last as well. So, right. you know, so they want to try to get that final service course down, but if not, they'll wait till the spring. But they'll reopen the road. The road will be reopened. Yeah. Okay. sometime in December it'll be reopened. Okay. And yeah, you could drive on the base course. It's, they'll, they'll ramp up, you know, to where they need to or temporarily. So that's where those are at. Yeah. Any questions? It's like overweight trucks or anything harm it because there's not the top coat. Not so really, because like that top coat doesn't take much for the structural okay. part of the road because there's so much under it. That's really just the final service to make it look nice. Okay, it's finer stone on top in the, in the mix. Okay. Yeah, very good. Uh, no old business. We'll move on to new. Yeah. Did you just want to report? Like we have public works. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So just real quick. Um, so uh, I don't know if you noticed, but some trees got planted. Uh, I believe it was last week. So we had 18 more in the fall. Um, and uh, Bob mentioned that uh, some of the old maple trees in town are looking kind of sickly, and you know, we're almost to the point we got all the <clears throat> ash trees down, but we might have to <clears throat> start thinking about taking down some of the maples that are, are looking bad. So, um, which, you know, we always put in the budget for tree removal. So, um, and then uh, we talked about the the building and I think that's on the agenda later. So we can talk about that. Good. Okay. All righty. 
Uh, no old business, move on the new business. Item A, Iroquois Paving Corporation request a payment <coughs> for payment estimate number one in the amount of 265-948-02 for work completed on the 2018 street resurfacing project. Yep, Iroquois Paving finished the job. Um, this is really just holding 5% retention till the spring, which the village typically does to make sure the restoration takes and there's no issues that pop up <coughs> in the spring. So otherwise the job's complete though. Very good. Any questions? Make a motion. Yeah. Is there a second? I'll second it. Motion by Trustee March, seconded by Trustee Marefka to pay the amount due. Pay request number one, uh, partial payment holding back the 5% retention, paying 265-948-02 to Iroquois Paper. March? Yes. Marefka? Yes. Pam? Yes. Yes. Item B, discuss and act on plan for renovations at new public works building. We were just talking about that a little bit. Go ahead. Um, so we met with Bob. Uh, he had plans uh, from the architect, Jeff Jarvis, drawn up just to do basic you know, remodeling in the, uh, in the, the building out there on uh, Ranchy Road, uh, basically to get it up to code for, uh, to get you know, signed off by well, Will County. But, um, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of plumbing. The bathroom, you know, isn't ADA compliant, so that stuff, some fixtures need to be moved around. Um, there is just the one bathroom, and at first they said that we were going to have to put in a second bathroom, but you know, Bob said you know, there everybody who works there is male, and so they said, well. You know, you could submit a, uh, you know, I don't know, a variance or something. A waiver. A, a for, waiver yeah, or somewhere waiver. that they wouldn't require us to put in a second bathroom until we hired, you know, a female employee. So there's that. Um, and then, uh, so just like I said, just basically finishing off the office area, a little bit of drywall, a little bit of electrical, um, and then... Uh, some concrete work on the outside for like the apron and they wanted um, you know sidewalks to accommodate uh, you know handicap uh, and a handicap parking space that have to be paved um, and then we also talked about insulating the shop area and uh, Bob mentioned that the ceiling is way higher than they need um, so talked about putting in some kind of drop ceiling and insulating it so we wouldn't have to keep everything going all the way up. Uh, so uh, he was going to talk to the architect, Jeff Jarvis, again to draw up plans. Yeah, and I thought, I thought Bob had told me that he had mentioned something to, to Jarvis about the drop and he didn't like that idea. Oh, I, th okay. I thought that was the Maybe. report that came back. Okay. So, but we'll double check with him. Yeah. So basically, I mean, what we're looking for is just, uh, you know, a general contractor that can handle, you know, pulling the right permits from Will County, you know, coordinating it with their building department and making sure that everything done, gets done properly in a timely basis. So that's what the board kind of has to decide. Uh, we budgeted this year, I believe $100,000 for that. Um, we've only spent, I think under 10,000 what they've done out there already. So, um, especially if we're not doing that drop ceiling, I, right. I don't see how we're gonna spend, you know, I don't no, think exactly. we'll be under that. So, um, yeah, so we just need to find a kind of- And I, I was talking with, uh, with Mike and Gene about this today a little bit. And Gene has done a lot of, you know, this type of work with development and with construction. Yeah. And he offered if we gave him a set of the plans he could work up you know kind of a plan and a, and a number for us and yeah and we kind of go forward using him you know maybe as a what we call the general contractor right construction manager yeah. but that yeah. way we'll i mean it's not a very big project right. there's just a lot of little pieces right. that you know it'd be nice to have somebody keep track of it instead of letting it drag out I think construction manager would be the best uh, yeah. title to that. 
So we'll we'll go ahead and do that, and then yeah, we'll so bring Bob's got some plans. Yeah, I'll get them from Bob, yeah. and we'll kind of work on that from from that point and bring back to the next board meeting. So we're looking into gas, your natural gas. I mean, yeah, we were. I think we've been in conversations with Nicor, yeah. and we had an original number from them, which was pretty outrageous, really high. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, I think we we'll stick with the propane right? for now. Yeah, yeah, until something happens where that number could possibly come down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they wanted it was some astronomical amount to, to supply a gas line to the building. Yeah. All right, so we'll bring that back on the next agenda for further discussion and action. Oh, thanks. All right, uh, item C, discuss debt payment and additional police pension fund funding. So uh, we uh, earlier, or last month, month before, we had the presentation from the police pension board, you know, asking for additional funding. Um, and I know the board has talked talked about it a little bit. I did have a conversation uh, with the treasurer, you know, about this also. And it would be my recommendation, you know, if we would consider uh, contributing two million dollars uh, additional to that police pension fund, you know, to get them that would get them above the amount uh, where they could do some more um, aggressive. Investing. Investing, thank you, Chief. Yeah. And uh, you know, help help kind of bring that funds up, and then that would get us also in a better position, you know, as far as where we're at on the funding. And uh, so, what is the debt payment? What does that mean? Does the debt payment is something else. That's that's oh, something okay. else I'm going to talk Sorry. about in a second. Oh. The debt is on the building. Is the the mortgage on oh, the building okay. that we have? Yeah. But basically what I'm looking for, and we don't have to necessarily act on it tonight, you know, we're missing a couple trustees, but I think it's a, it's a good idea uh, to make that contribution to the police pension fund just to get them to that, that next level. With the funds coming from our sale. Correct, yeah. yes, yes. You wanted that to be two separate items? The way you sent me the email. Yeah, I thought it was it, no, that's thing. okay, that's okay, yeah. <laughs> Because we're not necess we don't necessarily have to take action tonight. I just wanted to bring this, you know, to the, the board's attention. Think about it. Um, you know, we'll work on. I'll, I'll make sure that the two trustees that aren't here you know are aware of the discussion, and then we can kind of come back at the next meeting with that also. Okay. But I think that that's the number that I would recommend. So can we confirm with? Mr. Rock, that that additional amount is um, to get to that threshold. I mean, yeah, it was one point. It was basically threshold. one point. It was one point three. I yeah. think was my understanding would be additional. to get to that. Right. Okay. But this would be a little bit above okay. that. I mean, his I think initial request was five. Right. You so know, that's so. supposedly what we're behind. Correct. Um, and I guess in addition to that. Um, I guess you know we need to discuss when it's time for the next year's budget to make sure that we're funding it um, you know fully out of the last couple of years we've kind of behind Chief the Jim's um, Mr. Marcy, yeah. uh, the actuary for the state has already uh, submitted for next year's okay the actuary amount <laughs> based on the report that was filed um, so it does have the funding amount Mm -hmm. That's not taking into account any contribution by the village this year. So uh, that's all been presented for next year's budget. Yeah, okay. But I mean, I'd like to see us <coughs> fully fund that, um, at least, you know, what the actual amount is so that no, we don't fall any further behind. Right. Well, if you meet the, um, the state has a, a, a funding and if you meet the funding that they present, then over the uh, term of the uh, that the state has set in for the amount of time to reach the, the what they say ninety percent, because they know nobody's ever going to reach hundred percent, so they've set it to ninety. 
um, they have those by years. So if you meet the obligation of the state report and the actuary with them, that dollar amount you'll get there. This will make it sooner with this type of contribution. So right. don't think you have to try to make find five million dollars. Right. But that was just the uh, so the uh, reports are already on file for next year's budget, on the, and that you'll see before you know it uh, right. on the, the pension fund. Okay. And then the other part of that um, to think about, and again, we'll bring it back for the next meeting. Well, hopefully we have a full board here. But the, the principal balance on the building, of uh, the public works building, is currently 295.30.25. That's the principal balance. So that's just another debt. You know, I'd like to see us just get off of our books. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's no reason to pay the interest on it. And well, I think that was the plan all along. Yes. Because we bought that building, we knew we were going to get money from the sale and Correct. just pay it off. So. That's just something else I wanted to bring forward. And again, we'll put it on the next agenda you know, for action when we have everybody here. All right. Um, this item E, discussion of refining the ordinance to impose a fine for depositing snow, leaves, grass, on streets, 97.02, placing injurious materials on street prohibited. Um, Bob Hankey, Public Works Director, had talked with me about this. We have an issue um, in the winter especially where once we get the streets cleared, there's a number of people <laughs> that then decide they want to push all of their snow or blow all of their snow out into the street. And that causes you know a bit of a traffic hazard, you know, once the streets are clear. I think I understand it's not necessarily the initial movement of the snow, you know, when they're still out plowing, but it's when everything is done and then somebody comes home and then dumps a whole bunch of snow into the street. So we were talking about trying to figure out a way uh, to have some kind of enforcement capability on that. Well, uh Certainly, we can amend the or, or we can draft an ordinance that would, you know, prohibit it. It is sometimes a difficult ordinance in the sense of its subjectivity and enforcement. In other words, you've got um, you've got to ask about, well, okay, um, uh, is public works going to you know refer it to the police and the police officer has to go knock on somebody's door and give them a ticket for putting snow in the street. And you have to ask, okay, how are we going to define that? How is it going to be determined that putting some snow in the street is either a hazard or harmful to the street, which it probably really isn't. There's snow there anyway. Uh, and then the idea of can you put snow in the street before the plow comes by or only after the plow has come by and then you can't and then you have to try to figure out how are we going to enforce that when you come up with the ticket the police officer come there well the plow hadn't come by yet well it must have because the snow is out there you, you know you have that but it, it is an issue that you need to think about uh, a little bit we can certainly do it and you do have the right to adopt an ordinance that says people can't shovel their snow into the street and grass and leaves well <laughs> grass and leaves but yeah you, you know it, there's also frankly there's public relations with that too right mm -hmm. it, you know just on the practicality of it um and we ask i mean it, it's yeah, it's know. a common thing that we ask and one of the things that i was going to bring up tonight at the end of the meeting is the whole leaves right now yeah. i mean we have leaf collection you know in the village we still have the problem of some people they want to push all of their leaves into the street which in turn causes a problem with clogs you know sewers storm sewers um you know instead of just putting them in the parkway where they're going to be picked up it's it's common sense is what this all comes down to as far as the snow as far as the leaves as far as the grass you know we have to appeal to people's common sense um, right. not to do this i don't and I, so the only reason i brought it up you know tonight was because Bob had approached me about it and I wanted to bring it to the board, you know, for a discussion. Well, you know, the simple answer is yes, we have the authority to adopt an ordinance that would prohibit it, restrict it, limit it, 
but you know the terms of the ordinances are, are what it is that you have to think about in other words uh, one shovel of snow in the street. Uh, and, and here's uh, another, and here's another. You know what I'm saying, right? You have to. And there's certain places in town where you have no, no choice, place. right, but to put it in the street, like the downtown business district. And this has been a discussion, you know, that I had with the board back in 2014 before I was back on the board. There is no place else to put the snow, mm -hmm. you know, and it only makes sense to try to get that snow into the street before the plows come by. But to do that, you've got to be up early, up early <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and get it out, so. Yes, I, I, I realize that. Yeah. And, and you can carve out, you, you know, if you want to, you can have um, an exception the for the downtown or something for the downtown mm -hmm. and something for, for other streets. But you need to figure out what it, right. you know, what exactly it is. You, you do have the authority, though, to do that. So, like, with the leaves, does somebody, like, knock on a door and say, hey, next time don't put your leaves we've, in the street? We, we've we've been trying to do that, yeah, and that's uh, been through code enforcement at this right. point in time. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Because I know, I know you hope everybody has the common sense not to do it, but maybe just giving them that warning, saying, hey, just giving you a heads up, don't throw your snow. Right. Like if they do it once, okay, the next time you've already told them, now the next time. And I think that's kind of where we're at is, you know, do we have the enforcement capability if it comes to the second time, you know, or the third time? Right. Well, what's the ordinance say now? It just says it's unlawful. Uh, there's well, no no, is that it? Just that one we've got, we've got depositing trash litter and the like in the street, uh, which really doesn't pick up weeds directly, and then injurious material, uh, the articles which may do injury a person, animal, or property, and of course the leaves can do in injury to the pipes and that, you know, the storm sewer. But you would want to be more particular than this. I mean, frankly, as I said, if you went in to prosecute somebody for this, the first thing they'd argue is, well, that's vague and ambiguous, and we didn't know what we couldn't do, uh, or whatever. So you'd want to make it a lot more particular. And and that would, you know, we can amend it and, and have it say pretty much what you want it to say. Um, and. Uh, we can also put in an enforcement uh, in a different way too. For example, you can have a situation where you you uh, give a, an enforcement ticket and they have to come into the uh, village uh, and discuss it and or have a meeting about it. Or alternatively, the warning ticket turns into a real ticket with a fine. Uh, who in the village would uh, do that. I mean, we do do that in mm -hmm. some places. We don't have adjudication hearings here at all. No, but you can. We can put in the the ordinance a, a warning ticket with a requirement to come in. But somebody would then have to take on that duty once warning tickets were were given. It could be anybody. I mean, in some places it's the mayor. Some places it's, it's the manager and, mm -hmm. and and whatever. The only reason I mentioned that is, as you mentioned, that. What, what happens there is the person is put very clearly on notice, you know, yeah, you have to come in and discuss this uh, as the warning. If it happens again, you get a, a fine ticket, you know. Uh, you can do that. Uh, there are, you send out letters helping people you can them do or that. stick them on the door? You can actually do that, too. You can say that, and, and we set that kind of thing up in the ordinance where the first time it's determined you receive a letter uh, the letter will warn you that if it happens again a ticket will be issued in the amount of X and that's done too. the the, the letter right, because we're not necessarily looking we don't want to write a ticket but we want Compliance. people to comply yes right. exactly well and that's the other thing we have to decide comply with what that's the other trick to it yeah you know like you say there are different places in different situations uh, you know sometimes somebody just throws all their leaves out there and they didn't have to do that uh, other times there may be places in town where uh, yeah, you know it's not uh, conducive particularly with the snow right. I know in our neighborhoods it is because some of the driveways are such that there's no place to put the snow from the driveway 
for somebody to get out of their driveway except into the street. So you get something like that, um, it's kind of hard to tell the people, well, you can't put right. the snow in the street because there's no other place to put it. I think here, most of the time, that would not be the case. You know, there's Parkway or there's areas where you can throw the snow. But, you know, all that has to be thought about a little bit. Okay. You know, in terms well, let's, of let's think about it. Let's think about it a little bit, and we'll bring that back for further discussion at the next meeting also. Yeah, and tell us what you would right. like, and then we can do a draft ordinance, and you can all look at it and, and decide, and the chief could look at it to see what he thinks about yeah, and possibly you know, that, we can that possibly we can work, work, work through that a little bit, you know, maybe yeah. with with public works and with the chief prior to the next meeting and bring back a a concept to the board. Does the public get a see usually when there's big snows like that, there's not a notice or there's no plan that the public already knows about as to what streets are, I mean, well, there, there's no parking on any village street after two inches of snowfall. Snow. Oh, and that's another thing, you know, you can limit the, uh, you know, limit it to the amount of snow. Right. You know, and that, that sort of thing. When you start saying things like, you, you can't shovel snow into the street to the extent that it causes a traffic hazard, now you get to, well, how much snow causes a traffic hazard? You know, that much? Right. <laughs> Probably not. That much? Probably. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of the thing with it. It's, uh, but there's no reason you can't do it. Okay. Well, and, and I do want to appeal, you know, to the residents to, especially right now with the, the leaves, you know, please place the leaves in the parkway. Uh, we are still in the, in the midst of the leaf pickup program. Um, and then just not into the street, but in the parkway. Um, we have four candidates yes. that we would like to, go ahead, I'll let you. Oh, uh, regarding the search for an administrator. Um, we had um, about 24 applicants. Um, I reviewed the um, the resumes, uh, background information, and honed that down to nine. Um, presented that nine to the mayor, and uh, from there I made a recommendation on four candidates, uh, two in state, two out of state. Um, the suggestion was, we discussed today, um, a uh, telephone uh, interview with all four candidates to determine. Uh, I, I, I would say two, the two in state in person. Okay. And then the two out of state by all right, Okay. All four agreed to if, if okay. in fact phone was. Okay. But I would, I would rather, right. I would rather meet face to face okay. all right. with the two in state. Okay. Or if they're able. Right. And that was to be scheduled the. Well, we were looking, yeah, we were looking at Saturday, December the 24th. So it'd be the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Right. December 24th? November, November 24th. I keep, I keep right. doing that. I'm like, do you think they're going to come on Christmas pushing. Eve? I don't know. <laughs> don't be a smart <laughs> um, November the 24th. And we would try to schedule it for like 9, 10, 11, noon, be done by 1. Right. If we could do that. So if I could get the majority of the board to be able to be present. I won't be there on Saturday. Okay. I'm in Michigan. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good weekend. Sure. Okay. Well, take a look and let yeah. me know. I, let me know tomorrow if you can. Okay. okay. I'm just trying to get this moving, you know, right. forward. Um, if we have to push it back a week, you know, we can. Okay. 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 All right. I'll, I'll let you know. All right. Very good. All right. All four candidates are available. Okay. Uh, two by phone, and okay. then I'll mention to the instators. Okay. The actual sit down. Yeah, that'd be good. Questions of the press? Uh, anybody board have anything? If not, then I need a motion to go into closed session to discuss uh, the acquisition of real property and collective bargaining. So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee March, <coughs> seconded by Trustee Ham.
March? Yes. Ham? Yes. Parker? Yes. Moretta? Yes. We will go into closed session and there will be no action coming out of closed session. <laughs> Thank you.